Hi, this is Rachel. So we're going to look at now bid mass. So bid mass is something that tells us the order in which we do calculations. So it's actually an acronym for brackets, indices. So indices are um, these powers here. So you can see an example here. So we've got two to the power of two or two squared. So that's an index. So those are our indices. Then division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So this tells us the order in which we do things. Now, there is a slight complication where our division and multiplication actually have the same uh, priority. So when we have divisions and multiplications in a sum, we actually go left to right. So you'll see a couple of examples of this in a minute. And the same is true for addition and subtraction. So when we have both addition and subtraction in a sum, then again, they've got equal priority, we go left to right. So what I actually usually do is I write out bid mass in a slightly different way. So we've still got brackets, still got indices, so those always happen in that order. But then division and multiplication happen equal priority. So I wrote those next to each other. And then addition and subtraction also equal priority. So I wrote those next to each other as well. So that's how I usually write out bid mass. Okay, so let's have a go at having uh, doing some of these sums. So let's start with this one at the top. So we've got 3 plus 6 times 8 divided by 4. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to go through my bid mass and see what I've got. Do I have any brackets? No I don't. Do I have any indices? No I don't. Do I have any divisions or multiplications? Yes I do. I have a multiplication there and I've got a division there. So because I have both, those have equal priority over each other, so I'm going to work left to right. So the one that is on the left is this here, 6 times 8. So I'm going to do that part of the sum first. So 6 times 8 is 48. And what I'm actually going to do is rewrite the rest of the sum around that. So I've done my 6 times 8 but I still have my 3 plus at the beginning and my divided by 4 at the end. So I've now got 3 plus 48 divided by 4. So again I'm going to work through bid mass. I still don't have any brackets, still don't have any indices. Do I have any divisions and multiplications? Yes I do, I have that division that I didn't do the first time. So I'm going to do that now. So it's this here, 48 divided by 4. So 48 divided by 4 is 12. And like I said, I'm going to rewrite it out again. So I've still got that 3 plus. So now I've got a, a sum that says 3 plus 12. And that's something I can just do. And it gives me my answer of 15. So you can see how the, the equal priority rule works there. And you don't necessarily have to write it out in huge detail step by step like I do. It's just my preferred way to make sure that I'm doing it correctly every single time and that I'm not missing anything. Okay, let's have a go at this one down here now. So, different sum. Um, Again, I'm going to follow through with bid mass and see what we've got. So, starting at the beginning, do I have any brackets? Well, yes, actually I do. I've got this here in brackets. So, what is six times three? It's 18. And then I'm going to rewrite this sum out again. So just like I did with the previous one, I'm just gonna write the bits that I didn't just do. So, there we go. So I've rewritten it out, just replaced the bit I did with the answer. Okay. So let's have a look at bid mass again. So brackets, do I have any brackets? No, I no longer have any brackets. I just did the brackets bit. Do I have any indices? 
Well, yes, I do. I've got two squared there. So I am going to do that first. So two squared, it means two times two, which is four. And then I'm going to write out the rest of the sum as I have before, so. There we go. Okay, so starting at the top again with bid mass, brackets, indices, no, I don't have any of those. Do I have any divisions or multiplications? Yes, I do. I have a multiplication here. So I'm going to do that multiplication. One times two is two. And then rewrite the sum. Great. Brackets, nope. Indices, nope. Divisions, multiplications, no, nope. I've done all those. Do I have any additions or subtractions? Um, yes, I do. I actually have three. So I'm going to work left to right because additions and subtractions have that equal priority. So I'm going to work starting on the left. So I'm going to start with this one, two plus two, which is four. Rewrite the sum. Now I've got on the left, four plus 18, which is 22. Rewrite the sum. And now I've got something that I can just solve. So I've got 22 minus four, which gives me my answer of 18. So hopefully you can see how I've used bid mass there and how those equal priority rules actually work when we're doing a sum.